Okay, yeah, welcome back guys. Um if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you can keep dropping more content like this in the future. But I'm taking everything down. I'm always making that trade, but I don't seem to take any 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 of them down. Anyway, just make sure you subscribe. That will really help. That will really encourage me to drop more content like this in the future. So so let's get to it. Uh, so let's just export this out. We need to export all of this out. We need to export out all the textures. I think we're in a good place. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to be exporting everything out apart from the mini schools and the outer eye. Because I'm not going to use the glass material for those. <clears throat> I'm not going to use the glass material for those. But the others I will need to, I will need to export. So... I'll change this part into uh, default background color, 4K resolution. Then let me pick out the folder I want to save. <clears throat> save this to. So I'll just name this to XP Textures. Okay, select this folder. Go to the inner eye. I need. I don't need metallic. I don't need normal, I don't need normal, I don't need height, but I don't need normal open GL. I don't need the AO. Okay. Neck vest, I'll need metallic, I'll need roughness, I don't need, don't need this. Um, I don't need this, I don't need this. Okay. I don't need metallic for the head. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I think this is pretty much everything. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much everything. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. So, I click on exports. So, this shouldn't take too long. Meanwhile, in a Maya scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just like to set um let's just give this neutral colors give this neutral colors or bit towards the darker shade. You know, I mm. I just leave the inner eye the way it is though. Let's give most of this more of a darker shade to it. Yeah, this should be fine. Be quick save. Now, one very important thing we need to do in here is to create a folder, create a project, set a project window, set a project for this. Uh, do I already have a project for this? Let me confirm. No, we do not. I'll click on new. New projects look okay. This is previous for this one older file, so let's set a new project. So I'm going to create a new folder in here. Wukong projects file. Okay, open this up. I'll copy these five parts. I'll paste the five parts in here. Enter. Select these five parts. So that five parts now has been selected. I'll name this current project to Wukong. Add design. Okay. Click on accept. So as soon as we do that now, if you go back to the yes, we can sit in there now to the folder, can sit in there now. It's very important to do this because for XGen to work, we need to kind of set or create a project for it. Extremely important. So let me just put this in a group. Wukong ready head. 
Meanwhile, I believe our texture files has been exported correctly. They have been exported correctly. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, I think I can close. I can can safely close this. I think I can safely close this now. Click quick save. Now close this. Okay. So that should be pretty much it. Then in the next lesson, we can start working on using the XGen tab to kind of create assets we need for this. So let's went to the XGen tab in here. Let's get this workspace in here. Get our work XGen workspace in here. Select XGen. So I don't think I need I don't need this so I'll delete that. I think this should be fine. We're in a good place. Let's make sure our camera setting is set up also 85 millimeter lens. That is fine. So that is good. And the next lesson we're going to start working on using XGen for this. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.